We're pleased to be able to talk with you about uh, ministering interviews. A ministering interview is a discussion between ministering brothers and their priesthood quorum leader or ministering sisters and their Relief Society leader. It would typically be conducted in person, but could be held by phone or online if uh, meeting in person each time is impractical. Ideally, and circumstances permitting, both, minist both ministering companions would participate in the interview. The purpose of the interview, as President Russell M. Nelson has explained it this morning, is to counsel together about the well-being of assigned families and individuals. It's vital that ministering brothers and sisters have an opportunity to give an accounting of their service. How are they watching over, loving, teaching, comforting, and assisting in the Savior's way? And vital for priesthood and Relief Society leaders to become informed and understand the circumstances and needs of those over whom they preside. But the ministering interview is more than a report. It's also an opportunity to counsel together. It's a chance to talk about next steps if needed what resources the Quorum and Relief Society can provide, or even beyond. Leaders offer suggestions and encouragement. In reality, a ministering interview, in a ministering interview, the participants are seeking inspiration from the Holy Spirit to guide their service. Elder Gary Stevenson and Sister Reina Aburto and I recently reviewed some short videos of what a ministering interview might look like. After viewing each video segment, we discussed on camera our observations. We'll play one of those for you now so you can see what I'm talking about. Altogether, these uh, video vignettes and our commentary last about an hour, and they'll be broken up into segments that you and the stake presidents and bishops, elders quorum presidents, Relief Society presidents can use in your own training as desired. <clears throat> Let's play the example of two ministering sisters, an adult and a young woman, in a ministering interview with a Relief Society leader. Just tell me about Sally, how is she doing? Well, she has had a really hard year, but, um, but I feel like she's doing really well, especially dealing with all the challenges that come from being a single parent. Mm -hmm. um, but as we've been talking, I do get the impression that she doesn't feel super connected to the ward. Mm. How have you felt impressed to help her? So you asked us to pray for her, and okay. I've been doing that. I don't know if you know, but she's an amazing artist. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Really good. I feel like maybe that's a talent we could use in the ward. Maybe we could do a activity where mm -hmm. we, she taught us to paint or something. Well, that's a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah, because I feel like not too many people know her. Mm. And so if she could do that, she'd really get to know the people in the ward. They'd get to know her and just love her just like we do. Wow. Mr. Burto, what do you think? I really like the questions that the Relief Society leader asked uh, these two sisters. You know, she asked them, how is she doing? And she mm -hmm. said, how have you felt impressed to serve, to serve her? And I think that's so, so important that we let them find that revelation that they need mm -hmm. in order to know how to better serve this sister. And I also like the fact that they didn't concentrate on, on, only in her needs, but also in her strengths, that she has strengths and she can also contribute to, you know, to the she world. She can serve. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I, I thought that was really a, a good way of you know, doing the mm -hmm. interview. I was impressed that the, uh, the younger companion had responded to yes. something that the Relief Society president or the Relief Society leader had asked them to do earlier. Yes. You asked us to pray, we did. Yes. And, you know, got answers, got results uh, yes. that guided them mm -hmm. what to do further as a, as a consequence. So the, the invitations that a leader can, can give, mm -hmm. the suggestions, the requests even, uh, in an interview like this are very significant. Oh, yes. And in this case, it led to um, an opening for um, some service, as you said, that this sister could give, not just how we help her, but something she can do to help yes. others, which yes. is a way of helping <laughs> oneself. Yeah. 
Well, I, I, I too was impressed with this. Sometimes the best way to answer a question is to ask a question. Mm-hmm. And it, that helps because you might not feel as, as the elders, quorum, or release study pregnancy leader that you know all the answers, and mm-hmm. you, you probably don't. But also, I think there's a, an important precept here. The companionship has the right to receive inspiration right. uh, for the right. families. Mm-hmm. And this gives them an opportunity to, in answering a question, maybe begin to think about the promptings, the feelings that they've, that they've been having. She's encouraging them yeah. to receive that revelation. And mm-hmm. I also like the fact that the leader was taking notes. And that's important because that way she will remember and she will probably follow up. And it suggests that you don't have to go into the interview with all the answers. <laughs> right. Because you... You know, it's, that's part of the reason you counsel together is to yes. find answers. And I think you can cover a, a, a lot of uh, that which is necessary in a short period of time. I mm-hmm. think if, oh, yes. if uh, the ministering brothers and sisters come in uh, knowing that it's not going to, they're not going to have to spend a long time yeah, in the yeah, interview, yeah, yeah. a lot can be done in a short period right. of time, and the Spirit can come in that period of time, and then after you leave, a lot of answers might might continue to come. Yes. Yeah.